Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I am going to do my bog barrel update. So this has been a video that has been requested on several occasions, people wanting to know how my bog barrels are currently doing and the progress compared to that in the greenhouse. So I thought I'd make this bog barrel update a little bit different to what I usually do. Instead of just showing the bog barrels I was going to do a kind of comparison as the stuff in the greenhouse is obviously more far ahead as it's warmer and more protected from the cold where the outside bog barrels have been out there all winter and we especially in the UK here we have a lot of diverse weather so some days it's really warm like today it's going to be a really nice day it's just first thing in the morning here and it's going to be really warm again today but we have had some few frosts over the last week which has slowed some growth out there so I'm going to do that kind of comparison as well as that I've also redone one of my bog barrels as I previously did in a couple of videos I took the plants out and I put them in the greenhouse and then I've replaced them recently with some new plants which again I will show in that second bog barrel so that one's had a little bit of a revamp the first one that I will show however has been outside all winter so that will show from what it looked like in my most um, previous bog barrel video to now the only thing I've added or changed to that is I've added another purpurea venosa so this is my first bog barrel and everything in here from this uh, Drosia filiformis all the way to the Saracenia Vark Cup Creed over here is all stuff that has remained outside all winter so we've had a lot of snow and frost this winter and I'm surprised about how well everything's doing everything's coming back out of its dormant state now the newest plants that I've added to this bog barrel is this Saracenia purpurea venosa so I like to put the purpureas outside as they are the hardiest Saracenia so they can go down to at least minus 20 so I put out the purpureas or the crosses, so for example the Saracenia purpurea cross catsby is a really lovely one and it's actually had some magnificent colour during the growing season last year and it's obviously got some old pictures here now which I haven't got as much colour on but it has got a flower which I'm very excited about because it will be a nice one to cross with especially with the colour and it's also got a little baby there. So I've got my Venus flytraps here which obviously are looking a lot more dormant than what would be seen in the greenhouse and you can see that this one here has got a flower but it's really good that all the new growth is coming so you can see from the centres that despite obviously all the old and straggly leaves that they have got some new leaves coming so looking really nice at the moment as well especially as there is a little baby here which I've just stuck in here and I'm surprised that even survived the winter because how small the rhizome was but very very hardy these Venus flytraps so the bog is obviously not looking as neat as usual but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a really nice display as everything in here has kind of got used to being in here and hopefully will produce a better display than it did last year so especially my two larger Saracenias so this is my Saracenia flava var ornata so it's a green swamp and originally I got it as this one rhizome and it's got this division here which is a second rhizome so it's really nice and big did really well got some really nice um, triangular shaped pictures same with my Saracen flower var Capri had some really nice bronze like leather almost looking lids um, and it's got a double flower this year it did flower last year but it's now got three rhizomes and it's looking great so it's nice size as well so if we look at things that are closer to the soil, here we've got a Pinguicca grandiflora. So this is just an individual plant uh, that I've placed in here, or a hibernacular. And you can actually see some of the gamma just underneath the soil here, which has been distributed. And that was around the base, which is quite close to the original plant, but it's good that it's moved just a little bit. Uh, also in here, because I've put some just like scattered bits in here, so I've got a Drosia of Rotundifolia in here as well. And I was just aiming, I guess, to fill up this space here um, probably with more drosera but I just put a couple in here just for overwinter and they've both overwintered really well so you can see here that is my drosera rotundifolia starting to come back from its hibernacular so over here is my drosera filiformis which is very much behind of the one in the greenhouse however this was originally a two hibernacular clump and it is now four so it did so well in here that it has now divided into four and is looking really good as well as it's coming out from dormant so you can see a little bit of dew on there as well just starting to form but obviously not as significant as the one in the greenhouse there was also a Capensis in here which was just in the soil and as you can see it kind of did form like a hibernacular kind of state even though they don't produce such a hibernacular 
as they are sub subtropical species it did overwinter and it is already coming back which I am very amazed at despite obviously all the harsh weather that we had then finally I did add some more moss in here because it spreads quite well and it keeps everything in place and that moss did have some spatulata in here so maybe that will survive I'm hoping that there is less risk of frost now and um, hopefully all the growth will resume and look really great so this is my second bog barrel and the aim of this one was to have a more lower kind of display as well as being full of more British native plants. So my first example would be I'm hoping to put all three British nat native drosphere in here as I've recently got to all three now. And so far all I've put in here is three dr uh, drosphere rotundifolia. So I've got one there, one that's not looking great, all the frost unfortunately did damage it and you can see the black tips but then it looks exactly the same as this one which you can see on the older leaves had some black tips as well from the frost but has now started to come back really nice so I'm very confident these are all going to come back and then this one didn't seem to be affected at all and is looking really good and then the Drosa Anglica are also looking okay so they're a little bit smaller but you can see the new leaves forming at the front here is mainly all Pinguicula grandiflora so I'm hoping, uh, well my aim for this one is to have a very big display of all these pinguicula. So these are the same ones that were outside last year, but then I did take them out while I was redoing the bog barrel. As you can see the whole thing's been revamped. The only thing that has remained in here and has not moved is the Saracenia pavaria, or this one at least, and this is the new one that I've added in, which I had a spare baby of. But my aim is to have all of this front hopefully flowering this year, as those I did keep in the greenhouse because I didn't put them back in time, are now flowering so I don't know whether I'll put the other ones back or just wait till next year now and have them as greenhouse specimens but as they all flowered I'm hoping these ones will as well um, as at the same time um, but I think it looks like a really nice display if you've got all the flowers at the front and it will be a nice focal point in the garden so I've only added some shorter Saracenes in here so my new Saracenia Eva is in here which will hopefully produce a nice white kind of coloration to the um, bog barrel. So I also have in here, which I just showed a couple seconds ago, is two Saracenia papyrus and these, as short stocky plants as they are already, are extremely hardy and did really really well. I'm hoping for some nice larger pictures, especially on my um, more mature one this year, uh, plus the coloration from last year. As you can see the old um, winter leaves are still really nice and a nice deep colour as well. The only thing I think that may or may not come back is this Drosia Bonata Vardictoma. Now it did start coming back but again the frost then killed off those leaves and this one is not necessarily as hardy even though Bonatas are extremely hardy they're not as hardy as the Drosia Rotundifolia so it seems to have died back to this kind of state but I might be surprised my other Bonatas which I thought had um, died did come back from the roots so I'm still going to keep this in here probably for a month or maybe two just to see if any new shoots come from maybe the roots but I'm hoping to fill up all the gap so around the pipe here and that hopefully will be filled with different types of Drosera mainly the British native ones and eventually I'll be adding some Anglica in here as well but even though there's not much sight in here I've obviously added a few bits of moss I like it to spread and then it kind of holds everything in place such as the other one did so for now this is the display I've got but hopefully I'll, in the next update I'll be able to give something more magnificent so now I'm going to compare my uh, greenhouse specimens compared to that of the bog barrel so I'll be showing the same genus and species that are the same types as those in the bog barrels minus some of the Saracenia which I don't currently obviously own doubles of but I will start with the Drosera so um, this is my Drosera filiformis in the greenhouse I do have a couple of pots of this this one divided nice and well but it is a little bit behind the other but um, after they flowered they did produce a few seeds and I didn't collect said seeds but they are now coming up in the base of the pot which are looking great as well but this is the biggest one and they are looking lovely at the moment so you saw obviously in the bog barrels which are less protected from the frost and don't have the same heat and humidity as the greenhouse are a lot smaller and just starting out so this is my Drosera bonata vardictoma so you can see here how the leaves are only starting to unfurl but obviously are doing a lot better than the one out there which has yet to even show any signs of new growth since the last frost that we had here we have my three British native Drosera species. So here I've got my Drosera rotundifolia. So I've got four of them in this pot and there's a few in other pots. I've never 
um, brought one of these they actually did come in pots that I had brought off of um, like Neverish Plant Nursery websites so I was really happy to have those and it kind of inspired me to have the whole collection so I then brought the Anglica and I've got two pots of this these are both pots of Anglica so many seedlings um, and divisions these were just divisions of the original plant all the lit ones in here are seedlings again from self seeding where I didn't collect the seeds so they probably did need dividing but I just never got around to it but you can see here how the main adult is looking really nice and dewy already and then my most recent purchase is my Drosa Intermedia which is the third and final one I was wanting to collect for ages but hasn't been in stock but I managed to get this one and it's got two little I think maybe even three little hibernacas that are in there and obviously it only just started coming back out but ever since I've had it it's looking so much bigger and more dewy as well and eventually I will be putting some of these outside in the bog barrel probably not till the end of the year or if I've collected seeds whether this one flowers or not these fly traps I'd probably say are around about the same level and even though these ones didn't go as dormant they have only just started producing new leaves as well so the leaves are a little bit bigger so there is some new leaves which have been complete like my dentate here did produce these two longer PT old leaves and has got some more coming but none of them have really got nice abundance really at the moment there are mainly new starting leaves so I'd say I'd probably compare that quite evenly to the bog barrels so Pingamic grandiflora, these are the ones I was telling you about. These are the same age um, as the ones outside in the bog barrels and obviously being in the greenhouse has accelerated growth and this one has got two flowers on at the moment. So I'm hoping that the ones in the bog barrels will also have this nice display of flowers because their flowers are really nice vibrant purple as you can see already from those that are just newly forming. So I'm really excited to see those. So the only uh, Saracenia that I do have doubles of is my Saracenia purpurea, which you can see here has also got the lovely dark coloration, which I think is more vibrant in the greenhouse. It might just be because of lighting and the old winter leaves are stunning. And this one's got two new pictures, which is more than the ones outside have got, but it's looking great. So I guess the only comparison is most of my Saracenias have now got um, new pictures. They might be quite short. There's nothing really, I'd say, with significant height to the pictures. There's some like my Adrian Sachs Maxima which have this kind of height and obviously flowers are a lot taller as well some of them like my Flava Maxima here will be flowering any day now probably give it a week or so so that was a rundown of the bog barrels and how they currently look now so obviously everything in the bog barrels are a little bit more behind than that in the greenhouse due to obviously temperature especially we've had a few frosts over the last previous week and we had all that snow over winter but considering the weather that we don't, especially in my area, we don't usually get that much snow and frost. So I'm really happy with how everything has turned out, especially being such a harsh winter. So I'm guaranteed this year, I'm hoping that everything will look a lot more better than it did last year, especially redoing the second barrel. Hopefully the plants in there will be a lot more happier as well. And obviously I will continue to replace the banana if it does decline or just not do anything at all. But I am really happy with them so far. And obviously I gave a quick rundown of the plants in the greenhouse at the moment as a kind of rough comparison just to show everybody how stuff is currently doing in the greenhouse and obviously I'll be doing a greenhouse tour for April very soon so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.